God, in this moment, in this day, we give you the honor, the glory, and praise yes. as the body of Christ. Yes, Lord. And I thank you. Yes, Jesus name. Yes, Amen. 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 You want me to see you? Thank you. You know, today the Lord wants to show y'all a new thing. <laughs> yes, Lord. I've come to realize, you know, yes, up to this moment, I always was like, yeah, you know, I'm a prodigy, Rearing and tearing. You know? <laughs> Thank God I got a pastor that can go in the fifth gear like that. <laughs> you know, my, my fifth gear, you know, is a cruise. <laughs> 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 I still go forward. You know, you're going to ride with me. We're going to get to that. Uh, I definitely didn't want to come before y'all as anyone else but me. Amen. That's right. Amen. So it's really just, I love y'all. I, I know it's the Lord that loves y'all. Because he put y'all on my heart day and night. You know, it's a, it's a great time to be able to come before the Lord. But even greater when we're going through, mm. that we can still come together. Amen. You know, we suffer so much, mm -hmm. so much that we overlook, yes, that causes more suffering. Mm. Things that we try to hold on to, that increases the suffering. Yes. Yeah. Wow. There's a place. There's a place. Yes, Lord. Where the Lord just wants us to be at rest. And yeah. Yeah. You know, we, we can quote scriptures. You can talk about, you know, the still streams he lays us by, you know, the overflowing of his oil, you know, that cup that we want to drink from, mm, yes. you know, to partake yes. of the tree of life. But what does it actually take for us to get there? Um, yes, what, what opportunity or opportunities are we giving daily mm. to really? Know the Lord. Mm. Yes, Lord. Not just to achieve a place of going to heaven, mm. or as we heard last week, avoiding hell. Mm. Mm. Yes, Lord. I thank God in terms of the word that came forward that, you know, God loves us enough that He gave us two bodies. Mm. Yes, Lord. An opportunity to experience Him here, and an opportunity for eternity. To experience him in heaven. Mm, my Lord. Yes, Lord. As he comes to us, it's not him coming, we coming to him. We come, we present ourselves to him, but he comes to us. Yes. 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 How great a love is that, that the one thing that we need for eternity is still coming to us. And the one thing that I've noticed that the Spirit of God has definitely shared was this place called salvation. We see how easy it is to really come before the Lord, confess our sins, repent daily, to actually be in a place where our hearts are really free and liberated, but then how easy it is to slip right back into the world. How easy it is to not even go into the world, but to come back into ourselves. You know, to, Speak of that dead man that was definitely nailed to the cross. Mm -hmm. ah, mm -hmm. Thank you, my Lord and Savior, mm -hmm. for going to the cross for us. But mm -hmm. there's an opportunity for us to actually understand why that old man had to be nailed to the cross and why the pain that we endure is necessary for us ah, to really hear mm -hmm. from God. Take your time, preacher. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. In this day, we see so much hate. Yes. We see so much mm -hmm. unforgiveness. We see so much division yes. all these things that we consider bad when we were in the world but how greater is it in the church yes. in the one place where unity is unity it's not just a word unity but unity is unity for God is good because he is good you know, let's, let's really get some clarity on the term unity to be in the church to be in a place where Love is present. Mm -hmm. How can we allow anything that defiles that love come to on be now. present? Mm -hmm. ah, come on, bro. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I want to start with you today in the book of Isaiah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chapter 49. Yes. <laughs> yes, Lord. Again, there's, there's a joy in the Lord but we can't allow for that joy to be tainted by our feelings. Yes. 
but to be experienced in the will of God. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. To be felt in the fullness of Christ mm -hmm. as we increase our own capacity daily. Yes. You know, this, this is a thing that we should want daily. I love your mass, sister Lord. Salvation. That, that's mm -hmm. what's necessary for mm -hmm. us. But there's a time when we, again, like I said, we can easily accept it. We can easily claim it, proclaim it, sing songs about it. But daily do we ask for it? Mm. Yeah. Do we see the salvation that is given daily? Yeah. It's not just something that was given at one time and it's gonna go right to the to the kingdom. You know, take it to the king. We we want we, we want to be with the king. But do we want to endure what it takes to get to the king? Uh, yeah. Take your time. We'll, we'll, we'll get to these places. Because we've all been to a place. Yeah. We've all journeyed. You know, I thank God, 26 years, he made a way for me to be here. Amen. For those that I know your age, I ain't going to call y'all out, but the Lord made a way for y'all to get here. Today. Amen. So for us to commune, yes. not only with each other, but with him. Amen. That's Lord. With him. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Who will be reading for me today? I'll ask. Who would like to read for me? Brother Sean. Amen. Yeah. I'll be starting at verse 7. Okay. Brother. Isaiah chapter 49, starting at verse 7. Yes. Amen. It reads, Thus saith the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel, mm -hmm. and his Holy One, to, to, to him whom man despises, to him whom the nation aborted, mm -hmm. to a servant of rulers, kings shall see and arise, princes shall worship, because of the Lord that is faithful. Father. Faithful. Mm -hmm. The Lord is faithful. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's mm -hmm. so look at how he describes us. Mm -hmm. Thank God for Jesus. But we live in a world where man despises. Mm -hmm. That's right. Despises him. Mm -hmm. To where nations, and I'm not talking about a land, I'm talking about a group of people. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. Where a nation actually abhors the things that God wants to do. Mm -hmm. That means to really toss to the side, to not treat with reverence, mm -hmm. to really even deem that as undefiled. You know, what the Lord wants to do, huh? Mm -hmm. He just does it, but I don't want to give honor to it. Uh, I abhor it. Mm -hmm. To the servants and rulers, to the king shall see and rise. So there's a time where he will present himself to us mm. to let us know who he is. But he's letting us know that we despise him. Yes. Mm. That we abhor him. One thing that we notice with this place is in this Christian walk, this place where Christians comes when we go through, when we have pain. We never want to acknowledge God as the one who sent that very thing mm. to give us pain. Mm -hmm. All right. Go ahead, bro. We despise everyone. We despise the actual situation. Sometimes we're too embarrassed to really say, you know, we despise God. Mm. But he, again, God knows. So he's telling us, no, you despise him, the one who sent it. Mm. Uh -huh. All right. And you have poured, poured all the things that I'm looking to do for you that you can be with me because mm. I'm faithful. Mm. I speak to you through the pain. Yes. Oh. I speak to you through my love. I speak to you through the trial and the tribulation. Story. Continue, my brother. Right. And the Holy One of Israel, and he shall choose thee. He shall choose thee. Mm. So he's letting us know here that even as you despise me, even as you abhorred me, as you turned away at one point in your life, yes. I have chosen you. Uh, mm. I've chosen you. Uh, it's all right. It's okay. You wouldn't know how to appreciate me without adversity. Mm. Mm. Amen. That's true. Amen. You couldn't even Ooh. appreciate what I did yeah. unless you was able to see the sin that you was in. Because I tell you, sin only whips at the door. Yeah. Right on. <laughs> We're the one that opens it. Mm. <laughs> In that place, yes. of opening that door, you say, I hate you, God. Mm -hmm. I abhor the things that you have actually promised for me. 
and I want to take on the things that I feel is right in my heart. Mm -hmm. You know, this person did me wrong, this person did this thing to me, and this is the door that I need to go through mm -hmm. in order to receive more of you. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, vengeance is yours, but I'm going to avenge with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a delicate situation, but in this, his grace, his faithful, his mercy is everlasting. He's letting you know I've chosen it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, go through that door and I'm gonna go with you. Mm -hmm. I'll never leave you nor forsake yeah. you. you know, we, yeah. we toss that around, but let's really understand I'll never leave you nor mm -hmm. forsake you. Mm -hmm. And the choices that you've made That's right. and the pain that you're enduring. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Let's go there for a second. Yes, Let's go. We know of a brother, of a man, Perfect and upright mm -hmm. in the sight of the Lord. My God. Yes. Proclaimed by the Lord to be perfect. Mm -hmm. Shoot evil. Mm -hmm. Even offered up mm -hmm. to be tried to go through. We know him as Job. Yeah. <laughs> what Job endured is something that, you know, we always tell ourselves, I hope I don't endure. Mm -hmm. You know, Lord, don't let me have that Job experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You might not look like Job, but you go through like Job. Amen. But at the same time, it's not Job that we. That's right. I re really, really understand what I'm saying. It's Job that we avoid, but it's Christ that we need to take on. Yes. Christ is the one that really endured for us. Yes. Christ went to the cross. Yes. Job came before God. To present himself, but Christ went before the cross. So don't lift up Job's situation as it's higher than mm. Christ. Mm. Amen. Amen. So what he went through, okay. Will I come forth as gold? Mm. Will I endure and trust in the Lord? For he is faithful and he's chosen me. Yes, Lord. Yeah. The same way he's chosen me to do great works for his nation and told me I will do greater things than his own son. Mm. But I know he's laid things separate for his son. Mm. But for us, in that chosen place, do we ever consider that he's chosen us to go through this pain, mm. this sickness? Mm. I'll read it in your word. Behold in this, thou art not just. I'm coming from the book of Job 33, verse 12. Mm. Behold, the Lord wants us to see that in this, in this trial, mm -hmm. in this tribulation, thou art not just. Mm. I will answer thee mm. that God is greater than man. Mm. So why doest thou strive against him? For he giveth not an account of any of his matters. We want to know why God is doing certain things in our lives. We praise him for the great things he does in our lives, yeah. but for the things that we actually deal with that weighs heavy on our hearts that he's actually asked us to cast before him we still want to ask him mm -hmm. why lord why mm -hmm. why am i dealing with this why am i going through this and we're really running a race with god rather than for god mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the place where he calls us an enemy an enemy of course you know we we do have jesus i, I won't forget that place where we do have a savior that has saved us but i really want to teach y'all a place of even in christ how we run against god mm. rather than for him because yeah. again what god does he doesn't have to give an account for it. but we got to give him the praise anyway we got to give him the glory we got to really see who is god the one who formed the earth mm. Gave us the pillars, the sun and the sky. Why Why did he give so much before he even made us? Mm -hmm. Why did he have a place prepared for us before we could even accept it? Yeah. Why? Mm -hmm. But even through that, you got to go through to even get the Jesus. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's not miss that. Because again, he doesn't have to give an account. For God speaketh once, yea, twice. Yet a man perceiveth it not. So I've already talked to you. I already told you what you need to do mm -hmm. since the beginning because it's already in your heart. Mm -hmm. We want to get to the heart. All right. So in that place in the heart, there's a, there's a place where God, when he formed you, when he anointed you in your mother's womb, mm -hmm. when he chose you, 
in that place. Mm. Mm. In that place. Mm -hmm. God said, I also chose you to go through. Yes. I, <laughs> I'm going to break it down. We're going to get there. We're going to get there with the Spirit. Yes, Lord. In a dream and a vision of the night, when the deep sleep falleth upon men and slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men and sealeth their instruction. <laughs> so there's a place inside of us where God has actually sealed what he's going to do in our lives. Mm. But as we sit here today, are you ready to receive that instruction? Mm -hmm. Are you ready to even be prepared to, for God to reveal who he really is to you? Because mm -hmm. we read this word, we read it, we read it, we read it daily. And we acknowledge him for who he is, but are we willing to see him for who he is? Mm -hmm. I don't want to keep a place in my own heart that I don't surrender to the Lord. I don't want to be in a place where even when I get to the gate and the Father tells me, but you missed one thing. Mm -hmm. You missed one thing. You did everything right, but you missed one thing. And that was to simply love. Mm -hmm. That was to simply love. You, you preached hard. You saved millions. You healed the sick, you opened the eyes of the blind, you preached the gospel, proclaiming the acceptable year of the Lord, but you missed one thing, and that was to love. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get to the gate and he tell me that. My Lord. My Lord. Mm -hmm. My Lord. Verse 17, that he may withdraw a man from his purpose. My purpose. My purpose mm -hmm. to actually want to help y'all get saved. I can't save y'all if I don't want to help y'all get saved. I want y'all to see a Christ that died for me that is actually present for y'all. I don't want you to miss that. So what he does is he moves my purpose aside. He hides my pride from man. He kills off the old man. My old man was pride. My old man was a, a strength that only humans can have. You know, I was that. strong in myself. Mm -hmm. huh? You know, back in high school, I used to bench 300. Mm -hmm. Easily. Easily. Can't do that now. Mm -hmm. But I know I could endure for the Lord. Mm -hmm. Come on, bro. I know I can love the Lord. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know I can speak for the Lord. Yes, Lord. But back when I was working my own muscles, it was nothing. I was hurting my body. Destroying it. Look, what he says is he keep it back his soul from the pit and his life from perishing by the sword. <laughs> he is chastened mm -hmm. also with pain upon his bed. And I know a lot of us got pain. Mm -hmm. Again, this is, this is the place that I want to get to. It's that place of pain. Mm -hmm. We feel pain as we're just laying in the bed. And I'm not just talking your inner pain, but the outer pain. You know, Come someone, on now. someone hurt my feelings. Mm -hmm. Come on. Someone didn't wow. forgive me. And it weighs on my mind and wow. it hurts. Mm. It carries out into my relationships That's right. with people who aren't even involved. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Mm. Who aren't even involved. But it's a pain to the point where this pain and the multitude of his bones with strong pain, mm. it becomes eternal. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. It gets to a place where my own body that was formed by love, that was fearfully and wonderfully made for love, is now in a place where it's breaking down because love isn't there. Mm. And, and we understand that God is love. So let's not miss that. But this pain that I feel while I'm just upon my bed, my place of rest, mm -hmm. a place where me personally, I come before the Lord. Great, Lord, you know, sleep, be with me as I sleep. If I die, you know, take my soul with you. No, we say that sleep is the closest thing to death. My God. Mm. So as I'm on my bed, I hope that that's the time when I'm closest to God. Because mm -hmm. if he calls me home, I pray that I didn't have hate mm. in my heart. Ah. Mm. Just while I'm in my bed. Wow. My Lord. Because wow. mm. wow. as this pain that becomes an eternal yes. situation, it causes me to be sick. Mm. Mm -hmm. It causes me to miss out on one thing that Christ really chose for us to get. 
the one thing that he really chose for us to give. He could have said, hey, y'all have eternal life now. Mm. Hey, you know, you have the strength to move mountains. The same way he preached to the disciples, the apostles, even to Paul on the road to Damascus. He could have spoke to us like that, but the one thing he really wanted us to get was the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. right. Yes, Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. With the promise of what's to come. Mm -hmm. So this Holy Ghost, there, there's something in that. Yes, it is. You know, it's not just the power that comes and be healed, be born. It, it's not a place. So it's this Holy Ghost, this Holy Ghost. It's truly a comforter. Yes. It's truly a place of release from our flesh. Mm-hmm. To dwell with the Lord in the time that we have here on earth. My God. My God. Amen, Amen bro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this pain, this pain speaks to me. Why? Why does my pain speak to me? Because it's clear to see that in this pain, God actually is speaking to us. Mm -hmm. It's just not my pain speaking to me, but the Lord is speaking to mm -hmm. me. For if we understand Christ, can someone give me Isaiah 53? Mm -hmm. For pain to really be speaking to me, it's showing me something. It's showing me something that I actually need for my life. Start at verse 3, my brothers. Right. Isaiah, Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 3, start at verse 2. Uh, verse, three. verse 3. Verse 3, okay, start at verse 3. And it reads, He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid as it were our faces from him. Yes. He was despised and we esteemed him and we not. We esteemed him not. Mm -hmm. But he still chose us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Continue, brother. Okay. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Mm -hmm. Yet we did esteem him stricken. Smitten, smitten of God and afflicted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But he was wounded for our transgressions. Ah. He was bruised for our, for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. Mm -hmm. And with his stripes we are healed. Yes. With his stripes we are healed. Mm -hmm. We understand that even in our pains that you know when we get some strength, some clarity to sit down, brother, that in this place we actually receive something that we require. We receive peace. We receive a healing. No longer are we bound to our transgressions nor our iniquities. Mm. Our bruises wash away. Mm. But in this place, what actually happens is God revealing his glory to us. Yes, Lord. Some, a place that is whole, that is not in us, but needs to be in us. But in order for us to actually accept that place, we have to come before him mm. in our pain. Amen. Right. But again, we chose to deem him stricken to mm. actually reject him. Verse 20 of Job 33. So that his life aborted bread and his soul dainty meat. His flesh is consumed the way that it cannot be seen and his bones that were not seen stick out. <laughs> Yet his soul draweth near unto the grave and his life to the destroyers. But if there be a messenger with him, an interpreter, one among a thousand, to show unto him his uprightness, <laughs> Then he is gracious unto him and saith, Deliver him from going down to the pit. Mm. I have found a ransom. Mm. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. This is the body in us. Mm -hmm. yeah. As we see one another, as we fellowship with one another, shouldn't we speak highly of one another? Mm. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 Even in our faults, for even yes, the disciples spoke of the blind man. You know, who who sinned that he's blind? Who sinned for Job to be stricken? Mm. Who sinned? Mm. The word doesn't speak of that. Mm. But the Lord chose him to be stricken. The Lord chose him to go through. The Lord chose us mm. to experience him but also the fellowship with one another. So a place of, I see you're doing fine. I see you're enduring. I see you keep coming. 
Let me tell you how faithful you've been. Mm. Uh, yes, Lord. Let me tell you of a joy that it is to see you amongst the saints in the house. Mm. How great it is, whether you whatever you're going through, whether it's something good or something bad, but most important in your pain. Because that pain, sometimes we don't even want to talk about it. Sometimes we just want to. We want to endure it. We want to experience it. Because we see it as, hey, maybe this is just temporary. Mm -hmm. We believe the report that tells us this is ongoing or it's terminal. Mm -hmm. But this pain is an opportunity for us to actually speak with one another, mm -hmm. to seek the Lord, to see the Lord in a greater opportunity mm -hmm. than we've ever witnessed. Yeah. Amen. No longer Lord. just in the word, but living the word. Where is the word for me? Mm -hmm. Is the place that I'm speaking of. Yes, Lord. Where is it for me? Because he's called us out of the grave. He's bought us with a price. Mm -hmm. That ransom is him over our lives. Mm -hmm. We don't have. We don't have to struggle. We don't have to strive when we're in God. Mm -hmm. We don't have to make. I'm gonna make it clear. We don't have to make choices of our own, but we have to choose God daily. Mm -hmm. We have to want to choose God in the things he chooses for us. Mm -hmm. Why go to the door that, you know, this looks good or this feels good or this might be good. Mm -hmm. Or I feel like this is just where I need to be. Mm -hmm. Rather than just choose God. Whether if that door hurts you or if it mm -hmm. prospers you, mm -hmm. actually being in a place where I'm just choosing the Lord regardless. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But again, it starts from that place of love. Yes, Lord. Because without love, I can't do nothing. Mm -hmm. Before I go forward in this, I, I really want to bring something out to you that we can understand this place of pain. Job 42. Verse 11. Yes, Lord. Verse 10. Oh. Yeah. We'll do verse 10. Alright. Job 42, starting at verse 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job. Ah, uh, right. <laughs> so the Lord turned the captivity of Job. Mm -hmm. Not only did the Lord choose Job to go through this, but he's also the one that freed them. Mm -hmm. So let, let's see God in his fullness as we go through. Because then there's something that is required of us. Continue. All right. When he prayed for his friends, also the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then came there unto him all his brethren and all his sisters and all they, and all they that had been of his acquaintance before and did eat bread with him in his house. And they bemoaned him and comforted him all of over the evil that the Lord had brought him upon upon him. Every man also gave him a piece of money, and every one and an earring of gold. An earring of gold. But my focus is on this place where then they came unto him, all his brother and all his sisters, all that had been of his acquaintance before. Those that ate bread with him, I welcomed you into my house. Mm. I fellowship with you, I cried with you, mm -hmm. and they bemoaned him. But in this time of pain, as we know, his friends, they sat with him seven days, ten days, and they sat in silence. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have that place of silence just to listen, you know. What is it that is actually on your heart? Where is your pain? But from this place, when the pain actually came out, when I was actually to speak what the Lord had on my heart in fullness, but at the same time, me actually hear from the Lord to know that it's all right, mm -hmm. that my pain is something that I needed to go through. Mm. So then now we can comfort each other. Mm. My God, Amen. my God. Yes, the Holy Ghost is a comforter. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is my counselor. The one who speaks when I don't know what to speak. Amen. God. Yes, Lord. Ah. But the one thing that he is showing that not only 
Am I a comforter to you? Glory. But we are comforters to each other. Amen. 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 Because and comforted him all over the evil that the Lord had brought upon him. Mm -hmm. Evil not just being, you know, let me put some sin on you or let me send the devil after you, but mm -hmm. evil being in a, a sight of what God sees as good. It's the perversion of that good. It's still good for you, mm -hmm. but it's a perversion of it to where if you still don't see God in it, you won't understand why he is good. Amen. Why this evil Amen. is brought upon Amen. you is so that we can comfort one another. Amen. Amen. Good teaching. Amen. That's Lord. So we can be with one another. So we can feed one another. So we can give what is necessary. Because the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. So we know that the Lord's going to give. We understand that he is our provider. But the Lord also touched the hearts of these people for them to give him a piece of everything. Amen. <laughs> that means Job received triple. Yes. But in the fullness of God. Yes. Not only did he receive that physically, but spiritually. It was a place of him really understanding who God is. Amen. Yes, Lord. Were you with me when the foundations of the earth was formed? Mm -hmm. You know, can you speak of when lightning's going to strike? Can you predict the weather? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what the weather's like outside right now? Mm -hmm. But the Lord does. The mm -hmm. Lord knows. Yes. But he gives us an opportunity to come before one another to just comfort. Yes. I didn't ask you to do anything hard. I didn't ask you to do anything special. Mm -hmm. I said, ask you to follow me. Mm -hmm. I said, ask you to be with me. I ask you to dwell with me, to pray to me, to yes. really tell me about yeah. what's on your heart. Because yeah. if you tell me what's on your heart, we can understand what's really going on. Mm -hmm. We can move forward rather than what's bearing on your heart being a burden. Mm -hmm. That burden leading to unforgiveness, to not only am I not forgiving you, but then it's like, well, did the Lord really forgive me? Mm -hmm. I know you went to the cross, but... Did he really forgive me? Is, is my sins washed away? Mm -hmm. And it's not the scene like as if those thoughts are crazy. They are crazy. But not the miss that's that's where the enemy wants to carry you. Yes, Amen. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord have mercy. Yes, Lord. Back in the book of Isaiah, verse 8. Yes. So thus saith the Lord in the acceptable time that I have heard thee. In a day of salvation have I helped thee. And I will preserve thee and give thee for a covenant of the people to establish the earth, to cause, to inherit the desolate heritages. Mm -hmm. That thou mayest say to the prisoners, go forth. But again, this place of comfort, this pain, these people, these prisoners, those who are in sin and those who are still in bondage, those who still backslide, those who might be in a reprobate state, though we understand that even in that state, the Lord will set them free. It's God who sends us, but we'll, we can speak to them. I can't get you out of that state, but I can say the Lord loves you. Amen. I can present myself unto you as an oracle of God. We, we speak so highly of what to be an oracle, but when the opportunity is given, do we allow ourselves to be in that man? Do we allow ourselves? It's that place of actually accepting the calling living the calling yes lord walking the calling breathing the calling you know because the calling itself is god yes lord it's not the title the calling is god yes lord amen yes lord we just become the microphone for god you know can can i speak to a child can i speak to a young man can i speak to an older man amen i should just say yes because of the pains i went through it's for you for all of us, the pains you went through is for me, but let's comfort each other. We we share the testimonies, hoping that someone would hear. My God, my God, to praise God and what He did. But if we really listen to some of these testimonies, some people really just want to be comforted because though they've gone through that pain, that thorn is still in their side. Just like I got to tell this all the time because. The comfort that I'm actually seeking, the comfort that I actually desire, it's not there yet, but I know I've gotten through. But what is it that I'm missing that actually allows for me to experience something new? Mm -hmm. I want a new thing of God. I don't want to keep, 
I thank God for all of our testimonies. I'm really speaking for me, but our testimonies. But I want to be able to share with y'all many things. Amen. Many things. But the new things that God is doing, not just a place of, yeah, you know, I was in the world and I got out. Amen. But while I'm in Christ, what am I getting out of Christ? Amen. 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 I want to speak highly of that. Amen. In the places that was desolate, I want to take subdue in that. I want to be so much. I want to have heritage in that. I want to restore it. I want to be able to give back, not just for my generation or your generation, but for generations to come. So it's like, where where is that place of actually freeing the prisoners from just the pain that they endure? That they shall feed in the ways and their pasture shall be in the high places. I'm going to read that again. That thou may say to the prisoners, go forth mm -hmm. to them that are in darkness. Mm -hmm. That are in darkness. Mm -hmm. As saints, the Lord leads us to darkness. Yes, Not for us to dwell in darkness, mm -hmm. but that he may be seen. Mm -hmm. That we may know him, but also the ones who are in darkness may know of a light. Mm -hmm. That came for them. Amen. So he asks us to go forth. Mm. He asks us to be in this pain, mm. to be in this suffering, to take on this world but not be of it. Mm. To tell them that they are in darkness. Mm. Not only am I going to go forth, I'm going to show myself. Mm. Show yourselves <laughs> that they shall feed in the ways. Because we understand in Job. He was telling us that we abhorred bread. Not only did we abhor the ways of the Lord mm -hmm. and the things that he did, we also abhorred the bread that he was giving us. Mm -hmm. yes, Lord. We understand that the bread is the word. It could also be food. Mm -hmm. It's simply, hey, here's a plate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a time when the Lord put it on my heart to go into Philadelphia and just to feed people. At first, I had like 20 trays of food. So I was like, all right, I'm going to feed not only the, the homeless, but I'm going to feed the elderly too. Mm. Amen. You know, the elderly, they took like 15, 15 trays. <laughs> they left me with five. I'm like, okay, well, y'all got food. <laughs> but how am I going to feed the, the homeless, mm. you know, people who don't have food? Mm -hmm. And I was questioning. I almost got mad about it. Like, I feed y'all all the time. I told y'all what did I said, take what you want, but don't don't get greedy. Mm. But even from that place, the Lord made a way. He mm. had me to actually, you know, I felt like I was feeding the five thousand, but I ain't feed five thousand people. Mm. But it was a place of how he broke down that food to be able to be served. I thank God I was able to have my dad with me at the time to where we both walked. But in that time, what really stuck out to me was in their darkness. Where I went, this place is called Shoot Up Alley. Mm -hmm. Shoot Up Alley is a place where there's just a bunch of heroin addicts. Mm -hmm. And I was walking down and I noticed people. I noticed needles in their arms, people just mm -hmm. strung out, you know, seeing, mm -hmm. just seeing it. And it, it struck me different because it's like, why? Mm. Why? And it could be a pain. It could be something that they've experienced in the past to where now this addiction to find comfort is in a needle. Mm. But in the same way, that needle is killing them because that needle that's in their arm, all you see is blood leaking out. Mm -hmm. It allows us you know, to see that our pain, the ways we choose to comfort ourselves, mm -hmm. it causes us to actually bleed. Mm -hmm. It causes us to die. My God. To where when food shows up, you reject it. Mm. Nobody wanted food from me. Mm. Some people took food. I seen a man digging in the trash, and I'm having food right in his mm. hand. Mm. Didn't want it. So I actually have to stop him, hug him, and just tell him, here, here's some food. I'll give you more. Mm. But from that place, the moment you hear the drug man come, Everybody's running for drugs. Mm -hmm. Even the ones that was out, they wake up. You know, you would have thought it was a revival. Mm -hmm. But the drug man, 
for an easy comfort, something that's, again, killing them rather than comforting them. Amen. So when we don't comfort them, but we show them like, ah, oh, well, you're just a drug addict. You're not worthy. Ah, oh, you're just in pain. Ah, oh, you're you're just an addict. You're you're just going through. You're just dealing with that, or you're a sinner, or you're not right. <laughs> so so many ways we can toss a rock at someone, mm. but we never want to offer a slice of bread, mm. some comfort, something that actually will help them to endure. Because mm. if I throw a rock at you, you're gonna bleed some more. Yes. But if I give you some bread, it's gonna satisfy you mm-hmm. for that time till you get some more bread mm-hmm. and that could just simply be telling you that the Lord loves you mm-hmm. and if I'm uncomfortable to do that I could say I love you because mm-hmm. I don't we don't know where people are but as we grow we understand what the Lord is trying to do wonderful mm-hmm. that they shall not hunger nor thirst mm-hmm. neither shall the heat nor the sun smite them For he that hath mercy on them shall lead them. Even by the springs of water shall he guide them. Mm -hmm. And I will make all my mountains away and my highways shall be exalted. Mm -hmm. We speak so highly of the mountaintop experience. We speak so highly of, you know, by my faith I can cast this mountain into the ocean. But God's letting us know that all my mountains, that all the mountains that we endure belong to the Lord. Mm-hmm. He says, I'm making them a way. Mm-hmm. A way for you to be people, to lead them all back to me. It's not a place of wanting an easy life. Mm-hmm. It's not about that. But it's about in all the ways that he leads us, being the way that this mountain might just be the way that I need to go through. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That this suffering might be my only way mm-hmm. to know who God is. My Lord. So why cast the mountain that I need for myself into the ocean? Mm-hmm. Though my faith can do it. Because mm-hmm. I have to be honest with myself. I might not be able to endure this, but am I going to say that to myself mm-hmm. or am I going to say it to the Lord? Lord, I need you yeah. in this place Amen. to actually get me over this mountain yes. if I have to if I have to drink from this bitter cup mm-hmm. be with me uh, drink it with me you already drank it but drink it with me now because I can't do this on my own or will I just simply toss it to the side toss it into the ocean and hope that hey maybe someone else will have to go through it. so my pain my pain is it just a place of me going through it's not just a place of me being healed being made whole but it's also a place of me being able to communicate with god in a way that if i didn't go through this i Absolutely. wouldn't be able to speak to him in a Come way on with it, bro. that is necessary Amen. so Amen. my pain my trials my tribulations <laughs> he made a way yes, I, I really want y'all to understand that Amen. he made a way Yes, Lord. He made a way. My God. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Here it is. I want to go to First Peter. Yes, Lord. Chapter 4, verse 10. In this place, again, we, we've really received something in our lives that life itself couldn't even fathom it. Mm-hmm. The only way that we could truly embrace this gift is at the end of our life. Each day we should have an opportunity with the Lord to be filled with his Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I shouldn't be filled with the same Holy Ghost I received 50 years ago, Amen. six years Amen. ago, Amen. two days ago, a week ago, a couple of hours ago. It should still be an ongoing process of my faith declaring unto God that I need more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That I need more. Yes, Lord. It's not about me being in the pulpit. Yeah. It's not 
about me evangelizing, but I have to do it. Mm. I have to do it. Because he ordained it. He called it. Yeah. But it's my yes, Lord, that fulfills it. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, Lord. Thank you. So to even get to this place, what did it take? It took some pain. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Verse 10. All right. First Peter chapter 4, start at verse 10. Mm -hmm. As every man has received a gift, a gift, even so, minister the same one to another. Hold it right there. Mm -hmm. Every man has received the gift. Mm -hmm. We understand that we can relate this gift to the Holy Ghost. We can relate this gift to, the, to Christ himself. We can relate this gift to grace showing up. Mm -hmm. Something that we didn't deserve, but God so loved us that mm. he provides it to us. He renews it every day. Yes, but in that grace, do we see the pain that we actually receive as a gift? Mm. For every man have received a gift. Let's replace that with pain. Every man mm. have received pain. Mm. Even so, minister the same one to another. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Let me minister my pain to you. Wow. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what I actually go through oh. rather than you assuming like, oh, that's just mm. a, a well-spoken yeah. brother. Mm. That's just Say a man that. that, hey, you know, he's going hard for the Lord. I, I, I suffer along with you. My God. Say when you man. hurt, I hurt. Mm. I might not show Say it, but man. my joy overtakes it. My love wants to cover what you're going through. Mm. So I minister to you. I serve you. I don't just say I love you, but I want to serve you. Mm. But when it constantly gets rejected, it hurts. Mm. Mm. It hurts. You afford me. You reject me. Mm -hmm. You spit in my face. You throw bread, the same bread that I'm feeding you with, right back in my mm -hmm. face. And it's like, all I want to do is serve you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not just because God is telling me to, but because of how he made us and who he is. Mm -hmm. That's no one. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's a place of really surrendering and not caring for who I am. But caring for your salvation, Amen. caring for your peace, hoping that when I go into the gate, he's not saying you missed one person, mm. not just Amen. one thing, you missed one person. My Lord. Mm. My so Lord. even so, minister the same one to another as good stewards. Mm -hmm. So this pain, be good over your pain. Mm -hmm. I love the message in terms of sin. Don't don't put your sin on me. You know, some we, we we used to be good in our sins. Mm -hmm. You know, I have to dance in it, I have to do it all. Mm -hmm. Can you be good in your pain? Mm -hmm. wow. Wow. Hallelujah. Be good in your pain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Know what it takes. Again, we understand that Christ really wants us to cast it before him. But until we get to that place, because sometimes we don't automatically get there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it takes a little while, and that's okay. He tarries. That's why I say we tarry. But in the meantime, as we long suffer, be good in your pain. Amen. Be a good steward of your pain. Don't allow your pain to cause me pain, but allow your pain for me to come to you to minister to you. Show me that you need to be talked to. Show me that you need to be comforted. Show me that you just need a hug. Amen. That not only are you a good steward, but I could be a good steward in the manifold of grace of God. Because he came to us when we were low. We, he came to us while we were in the grave. Mm -hmm. In this dead place. And he spoke to us. Yes, Lord. So he's asking us to do the same for others. Mm -hmm. right. It's not just a place of long suffer. Oh, yeah, you know, we're going to just wait on them to catch up now. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to just wait. <laughs> I'm going to suffer. It's not that place. Mm -hmm. But as we wait. As we wait, mm. let's minister to one another. Yes, Lord. Amen. Let's actually release Amen. the burdens that we actually carry. Let's communicate the same way that he requires mm. us to communicate with him. I'm sure you communicated, Lord, forgive me, with a sinner just as freely as you should communicate mm. with us. To At least I'll pray for you. Mm. Till we can get to a place to where that same conversation that I could have with another saint I could finally have it with the Lord. Mm. To where I trust God so much that when he actually tells me, speak to my elder, get some advice, ask a question, mm -hmm. I ask it boldly, unashamed. Because mm -hmm. this pain, 
can simply be cured with a question. Can be resolved with communication. Amen. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we, we say that we want to, you know, God use me. Use me, use me holy. You know, be holy and true. Make me a living sanctuary. But if, so he, he's letting us know that there's an opportunity where you might not even speak. But we should hear him to know when we need to speak. That I should know who you are. That if you're not up here, not, not in the sense of, oh, you know, I'm up on the mountaintop. But I should recognize the spirit that's in you. Amen. 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 I should recognize it in you like, oh, that person is low. That person's going through. What's going on? Amen. What's truly bothering you? Amen. What are you really going through? I'm not just going to sit here and pray for you. I just want to hear you. What are you going through? I'm not here to judge you. But let me speak. Yes, Give me an opportunity to speak. Don't run from me. Amen. Let him speak as the oracles of God. And if, he, many, if any man minister, let him do it as the ability which God mm. giveth, not yourself, mm. but God giveth. Mm. Amen. 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 Yes, Lord. Mm. So, you might just need prayer. But I'm telling you, hey, I got some money, I got some food, I can spend some time. Mm -hmm. You might tell me, well, I need more than that. Mm. I'm like, well, I ain't got nothing else. But you already asked me. You asked me for prayer. When will I pray for you? Mm. When I when, when I actually listen to your request. Mm -hmm. When will I listen to it? Yes, Lord. But not only that, to be able to listen, but to actually hear from God to say, God, give it to me. Because what you might share with me might not be all your pain. What you might tell me might just be a part of what we really need to get to, the root. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love working <laughs> as a landscaper. I thank God for you to come. Amen. That place where digging up trees, pulling up trees. I always love getting it from the roots. Mm. Getting it from the roots. I might, I might, yeah. It might take a while. <laughs> might hurt my back. Because I understand. Really, really, I'm bringing it out. I might hurt my back as I'm pulling these trees up. Might hurt my legs. Might even strain my head. Like, er, er, like I'm trying to get this up. Might even be calling out to God. Like, God, come on, get this tree up. And I'm working. I'm doing my best to get this problem up. Mm -hmm. For the benefit of another person. Because it's a pain to them. So I go through mm -hmm. with you. Mm -hmm. So this pain, this my back, you know. Someone got to call out the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. Someone gotta be right. Mm -hmm. So he tells us, you know, if you upright, tell your brother. Mm -hmm. Encourage him. Man, it's not in a place that you're there, but I see you. Mm -hmm. You're doing right. You're doing fine. So I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> but I'm telling you from the place, again, if he was to tell, like, he probably don't know, but if he was to be like, Peter, you alright? I'll tell him I'm good. You no, know, my back hurt. I'm like, yeah. You know, I pulled that tree up. That tree came up good. My back hurt. <laughs> so the pain that you share with me, it might hurt me. Because it might be me. I might be the cause of it. I might have been the fault. But at least I came to you to hear from you. And you took the time to share it with me. Let's paint. Let's go do this pain together. So it's a place. You know, I didn't even give y'all the topic of my message. Mm -hmm. You know, it's this place called Render Your Hearts. Mm -hmm. Render mm -hmm. Our Hearts to One Another. Mm -hmm. Render Our Hearts to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Yes. Actually be in a place where our sacrifice, our, our choice of meat, mm -hmm. It's love and forgiveness. Amen. Mm -hmm. I love the poem that came forward in terms of there, there's no riches in heaven except mm -hmm. knowledge, power, and wisdom. I'm probably messing up the poem. <laughs> but still, <laughs> I, what he was, was revealing was a place of 
the things that you need are not carnal. I will mm. provide for you naturally. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. But what you really need to get through is something greater. Amen. Far greater than silver and ruby. Mm -hmm. To where she even takes on form in your life. She become married to the thought of wisdom. Mm -hmm. To being able to be in her presence. Mm -hmm. Alright. So from this place, and I'll, I'll just read it to you all. Job 33:26. Says again, once we finally come to a place where our pain has been ransomed, we have been called from the grave. I'll start at 25. The Lord says, His flesh shall be fresher than a child's. Mm -hmm. I, will, I will restore you. Yes, and he shall return the days of his youth. But not only that, because you receive strength, ye shall pray unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. And he will be favorable unto him. So there's a place where not only have you been restored, but once you're restored, what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. Once we've restored each other, what are we going to do? Mm -hmm. When we finally discuss that pain, what are we going to do? I'm going to pray unto the Lord. We spoke it, we listened, we heard, we resolved, but now I have to pray unto the Lord that he will be favorable unto him, unto mm -hmm. us, unto the body, unto the nation, unto us all. And he shall see his face with joy. I, mm -hmm. I always say it's a joy to be in the presence of the Lord. Amen. But the, for, you to, for you to be in the presence of God, and there's a joy with him. Mm -hmm. A joy with him to know my son has returned. Mm -hmm. My daughter, my brothers, my sisters, my children, we're, we're, they're finally on accord. Yes, Lord. Not only are they congregating, they're fellowshipping. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't want to just be in congregation with y'all. I want to fellowship mm. with y'all. Amen. I want to go higher in the Lord with y'all. Yeah. I want to experience the eternal God with y'all. And I need every single one of y'all. Every single one of y'all. Yes, Lord. For he will render unto man his righteousness. His righteousness. Mm. His right standing. It's a place where we have to understand who God is. We have to know the Father, we have to know the Son, we have to know what it takes to actually be in right standing with them. So sometimes we could just say, you know, well, I go to church, I pay my tithes, you know, I follow his commands, but at the same time, he says, when you do it, you still steal from me. Because I've asked you during that week just to speak with somebody, but you didn't do it. So you stole another soul from me. You paid me, but you stole a soul from me. So what he tells us I'm going to finish it up soon y'all So Ezekiel 3 so Again there's, there's a place that, that we need to get to For our brethren As well as those who don't know the Lord Ezekiel 3 Verse 18 Brother Sean Understand this wickedness not only as our, our actions, because our actions actually come from a root place. It's a place in our heart that hasn't been circumcised unto the Lord or set apart mm -hmm. for the Lord. Mm -hmm. That this root cause actually causes me to do wicked things. Mm -hmm. A lot of people go into these places because of different reasons. It might be anger, mm -hmm. it might be sadness, depression might be just pain so let's not just see this wickedness as a place of you know, that person is outside of the will of God he is but let's show up with the gospel mm -hmm. let's show up with his word because if we don't of Sean okay. Ezekiel 3 uh, verse 18 reads when I say unto the wicked thou shalt surely die and thou givest him not warning or speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way mm. to save his life. 
the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thy hand. My Lord. Yeah. 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 That's all. My Continue. Lord. Okay. Read the um, verse 21. Okay. Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity. But thou shalt, but thou, but thou hast delivered thy soul. Mm -hmm. Again, when a righteous man doeth turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, mm -hmm. and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die, because thou hast not given him warning. Mm -hmm. He shall die in his sin, and his righteousness which he hath done shall not be re shall, shall not be remembered. But his blood will I require at thy hand. Let's stop right there. My Lord. He's making it plain. He's making it plain. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Look at how the Lord differentiates between us and the wicked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he lets them know that they're in their iniquity. The one thing that my stripes, your wounds, your bruises, I healed you, but you haven't accepted me. Mm -hmm. So you'll die in that. But as a righteous person who turns away from his righteousness, he calls it your sin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing, but it's a, it's a, it's a different identification. Mm -hmm. It's a place of where you had a, you you received me, you had an opportunity to stay with me as we've been learning to protect our anointing, Amen. but you just happen to walk away. Mm -hmm. You happen to fall short. Mm -hmm. You happen just to turn around or as we become amongst each other. Let's not act as if we're perfect. Let's mm, it, man. Mm. And sometimes I could minister you to you hard, it, man. but my ministering because I'm overzealous could be a stumbling block over mm. to you. Mm. Mm. So that's why I say in this place of pain, yeah. let us listen to one another. Yeah. Let's not yeah. listen to respond, but listen just to hear from God. Because mm. mm. he says, I'll require the blood at your hand. Mm. So will you. But if I told you to tell him to, you know, just say I love you, but you wanted to give him a 20 minute sermon on what you went through 20 years ago, well, the Lord told you in that moment, just say I love you. Mm -hmm. I don't need your testimony. Your testimony gives me strength. But as a place, what did the Lord tell you to give me? Mm -hmm. As he said, you know, give as the Lord gives, minister as the Lord gives. Mm -hmm. It's not a place of. It's important to see that our testimonies brings out our treasures. The same way we pour into the church with our tithes and offerings, it's to build the storehouse. But the Lord has also built a storehouse in us Amen. that what we went through, what we endured, what we came out of, what we have been imparted, that's our storehouse mm -hmm. as that's we good. walk as the Amen. living temple. Yeah. That's right. And he Thank wants us Lord. to be able to ask him, Lord, what do I need to bring from this? Yes, Lord. And sometimes it's just a, I love you. Yes, sometimes it's just a, it's all right. Because mm -hmm. I can't see the future. So one thing I know today and tomorrow, I could say I love you because that ain't going to change. Because mm -hmm. yes, my love Lord. isn't a place from feeling. It's a place out of the will. And it's yeah. the will of God. Mm -hmm. yes, Lord. yes, Lord. Verse 21, Brother Sean. Mm -hmm. right. Nevertheless, if thou want the righteous man, that the righteous sin not, and he doeth not sin, he shall surely live, because he is warned. Also thou hast delivered thy soul. Mm -hmm. Hast delivered thy soul. You haven't robbed the Lord of the soul. Because you've done what he asked you to do. You've right. warned him. And it's not a warning of, you know, fire and brimstone is coming to your house. <laughs> but I love you. Amen. The Lord loves you. All we do is prepare the way so then Jesus can show up. Amen. Thank you. Just so Jesus can I can speak to your life, but only Jesus can change you. Mm. Amen. Amen. Jesus can change you. Amen. You can see me up here today, but only God can preach to you. Mm. Mm. Right. It's a place again of understanding who God is. Yes, Lord. And really, really going to a place of surrender. I was laughing. You know, he says, what do you do after you say, you know, I give myself away. What do you do? Mm. What do you do? Because if you give yourself away, are you withholding anything? Mm. You know, I've, I've given myself away. I've given everything that I see myself, but are you withholding anything? Mm. And in conclusion, 
I'll just read it in your hearing. Matthew 6 and 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Seek ye first. So I'm giving you an action, a command to seek me first. The kingdom, my word, my highways, my mountains, my fields, you know, everything that I've actually formed in this earth for you to experience who I am. Seek my kingdom, not just in heaven, but on earth. Because again, my heaven is coming to you. My promise is coming to you. So seek me and my righteousness, my right standing, the one that I sent you to actually be perfect in. As we could see ourselves, though we could deem ourselves not perfect, but the Lord wants us to be perfect. He says, be holy for I am holy. It's nothing of myself, but of him. It's a place of strive for the excellence of God because of his perfect will, because of his perfect love. My excellence in striving for him, not against him, striving with him to endure with him comes from a place of surrendering to his perfect will, not my own intentions. And he said, all these things will I add unto you. Well, I add it unto you because I know it's necessary for you. I know you need it to get through. I know you need it to endure. I know you need it because I love you. That's why I give it to you because I love you. I share all this with you because I love you. Where are you, Jesus? That's the one thing we should ask in every situation that we face. Where are you, Jesus? Where are you in? Where is your name? A name above all names. A name above all situations to where everything, every knee shall bow, every mouth shall confess that you are Lord. Where are you, Jesus? Can I look in the mirror and reflect and know that the Lord is in my heart? Can I look upon the beautiful faces that I see in this church? know that God is in your heart. Mm -hmm. Not only that, can I see him move from aisle to aisle, press to press, mm -hmm. see the cloud, feel the fire, and endure till the end? Because mm -hmm. we understand that from this place, from this place, God is looking to do something great. Yes, but it's in our pain. It's in our pain. It's not just a place of I've always loved to say, you know, skipping through the woods with a picnic basket. <laughs> we ain't here to do that. Mm. Not at all. We're here to experience something greater than we could ever experience. Mm -hmm. But will we actually allow ourselves that liberty that has already been given to us? Will we allow that liberty to go to waste? Because I don't want to sin so grace can show. Mm -hmm. You know, God forbid, as Paul mm -hmm. said. But I want my life, my walk in his grace, in his mercy, to allow for grace and mercy to abound evermore. To go higher, to go deeper. To fill me up. To let me know that, again, not only did he love me enough, but he loved each and every one of you. It's just how do we see it? I'm going to find it. But with Spirit giving it to me, I see it now. Amen. Wait, there it is. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. For Ephesians 2 and 8. For by grace are ye saved through Amen. faith, that not of yourselves it is the gift of God. Yes, Paul. Amen. would grant you 
according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened by his spirit in the inner man that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith that ye being rooted and grounded in love so render our hearts one to another and especially to the Lord that you may be rooted in love not rooted in your own ways not rooted in the pains and the wiles of this world for he says from the heart comes all the trials and the pains of this life so we have an opportunity today yes lord to just rededicate ourselves to see the lord as the fullness that is required of him not what we want of god but to see what he's ordained to see what he's professed what he's called since the beginning to be an opportunity to be in his presence daily but always waiting with expectation that invitation to his glory and that time is now yes lord that opportunity is given to you now the doors of heaven are open yes lord he's calling you to be one. Bless his name. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Now it's important for us to always, always see ourselves. But as even as we see each other, yes. and maybe that could be a motivation yes. for me yes. to just rededicate myself, to be yes. strengthened, to know that the Lord loves me. Yes, yes Lord. Yes, Lord. Not just to say, but to know. Yes, Lord. To experience His love. Yes, Lord. So it could be one. Mm. That maybe, you know, throughout the week, I had ample opportunity to come, to, to come before the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I chose to do my own thing. I had opportunity to just tell my family I love them, but I haven't yet. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. That I haven't talked to someone for so long, or I've rejected someone. Mm -hmm. I still haven't said, I forgive you. Can you forgive me? Can you show me your heart once again? Can we grow together? Not only can I experience God, but can I experience you as a child of God? It's not a coincidence that we're here today. It's not a coincidence that I am breathing, that my vessel was formed by the Holy Ghost, and that the Lord breathed into me to be alive. It's not a coincidence. But it was his heart. It was his heart that reached out to me, that reached out to us to say, son, daughter, I love you. Do you see my heart? I see you. Look at B1. My Lord. One that just doesn't want to be a congregation, but wants to fellowship. Glory. Ah. That wants a true experience of the Lord. That wants to be filled. That if I woke up this morning and I didn't get my portion, that was my portion. Yes. Glory. <laughs> Thank you. Now's the time. Now's the time. I no longer want to be separate members of a body, but one body. Yes, Lord. And anyone that just wants the Holy Ghost. Thank you. Mm -hmm. My God. I tell you, I'm Terry for y'all. I'm Terry for y'all. I love y'all. Yes, Lord. 
for God loves you all more. Yeah. And you got to know that. You got to know what you want. You got to know what you need. Mm -hmm. That place of anger, that place of rejection, it speaks to you and it speaks to you now. But will you just say, Lord, it's me. It's me, Father. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes,